Hello there, this is uh, Will Forty. I'm going to be telling you about a tool that I've developed for AutoCAD. Um, basically, the point of the tool is to uh, convert a 2D survey drawing into a 3D survey drawing. Um, you may have come across this before, but sometimes the format of a survey that we get from the client, or wherever we get it from, can come to us in a 2D format such as this. So I'll show you what I mean just by doing a 3D orbit of this. You can see it's all at elevation zero, um, although you can see obviously that we've got the text next to each of these points. So the information is there but not really in a format that's useful to us at the moment. Obviously at some point if we're using Civil 3D for example we may want to create a surface out of these points so so we want to create the uh, we want to convert the points into 3D points that we can later use to create a surface so I've developed a tool and basically what it does is you create a selection and it will loop through all of the objects in that selection for every point object or block object it will assume that is a point and for each of those points it will try to find the nearest text entity to that point so if I take a random example this one here um, you know it, it will it will find this point and it will look for the nearest text entity which obviously is this one here and then once it's found that for each of the points it will raise the level of that point to the level displayed in the nearest text entity to that point. Um, something to bear in mind, I'll just tell you about it now quickly, if you look at this point here for example, uh, just randomly floating around, it doesn't seem to have a text entity associated with it, it could have been deleted, I don't know, um, we have to think about what happens if our data is somehow um, incomplete or, or whatever. Um, in this case we don't want to raise this point to the level of the nearest text entity because it it could be misleading. So we need a, a neat way to, to handle that kind of thing or just to raise that kind of issue to our attention for us to just be aware of it and deal with it. So. I've incorporated all this into this new tool that, that I've developed. So the tool basically is, uh, I think I've named it Survey Fix, um, and I'm just going to net load that in. It's a .NET module, so it's a DLL file. Um, so we'll select that and go open. Now the command itself is runnable from the command line, which is an improvement on my my last version which had to be run through the VBA interface which wasn't quite so elegant as this um, so if I just type in survey fix now it just prompts me to select some, some entities for uh, fixing so if I just select everything and press enter now it's, this is what I was talking about earlier, it's detected a confusable point uh, it's recommended that I go back by clicking no to review any potential problems that there are so we click no just to see what, what happens in this case so all it's done is it's recognized the fact that we've actually associated uh, two points with a single text entity which means there must be some duplication going on so to overcome that I'm just going to this is just a workaround really uh, you, you can you could do this for your, your survey or you could just delete the point if there's no data with it I suppose actually that's the most appropriate thing to do with it in fact that's what I'm going to do I was what I was going to do I'll just tell you I was going to create just an interpolated point there you can see that in between this point and this point it's obviously going to be around around that kind of uh, around that kind of level so I'll tell you what I'll leave that in um, so that's good. So now let's see if I can run this, this command again. Survey fix. Select all this. Return. Okay, so 
can see that it has, in fact, ah, uh, yeah, oh, I was confused for a moment then because it looks like these have actually moved away from where they are, but it's actually because I'm not looking exactly in the plan. So let's just have a look at the plan, make sure, I'm, make sure I'm uh, not losing my mind. Plan world, yeah. So that's that looks fine still. These points look exactly where they were. So. Just to illustrate what what it's actually done, I can I can 3D orbit this, and you can see that whereas before it was flat, now these each of these points have their their 2D data, uh, sorry 3D data. Just select a point at random. Um, you can see that's yeah that's about right. That's going to correspond with its its uh, its uh, text entity. So it's probably that point or something. But that's what the tool does, and uh, it can be really useful. I mean, y there are tools in Civil 3D where it, you know, you can raise text entities to the height uh, that's within the text entity, but it's not going to be as accurate because the point that it will use is the base point of the text and and for each of these it's it's going to be offset by some some random distance for every single one i mean it's better to use the actual the actual position of the point to get a more accurate survey so i'd recommend that you use this this tool really to to get some better and more accurate um 3d data that you can work from uh this tool should be downloaded for from my site, my website, howtoautocad.com. Just go to there and uh, I'm sure it'll be on there somewhere, obvious, <laughs> um, to be to download. So thank you very much and hopefully I'll be uploading some new tools in the near future. Cheers.